So I guess finally, you know, we know that you're a beautiful, wonderful lady and woman. Mary, <laughs> a wonderful urologist is what we hear from the YouTube clips that we watched. Yeah. So if you were a man instead of a woman, yeah. would your life and career have looked different today? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Never actually thought about it. You know, to be honest with you, we still, again, there are gender roles, different gender roles. I think things happen. I think the, the kind of divergence happened when I got sick mm. because I did have breadwinner. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I was man, actually, I am the one who is, earning the most of living for like children and my wife uh it would have been very i mean it would have been more difficult um but fortunately for me um we i first well, we don't have children and then he is earning a lot more than i do so because i have to i i was out of work almost a year and a half uh, on and off for a few months and then uh, 10 about 10 months after like straight so I mean I felt very guilty I mean all of us might feel the same way that I wasn't working but I, I was also very sick uh, but if I was a man if I were a man I think that I might that that pressure would have been even harder so I do see the the other side of gender uh, inequality that men's pressure mm -hmm. for to kind of support the family although again nowadays a lot of women may be equally make or they might be the main provider possibly but in my case generally speaking my husband is mm -hmm. the main provider um and even now i'm working uh less than what i used to um and i can't really like go for like aggressive you know, raise or go in a, what, what do you call it, promotion? Cause I really like go very like late, mm -hmm. like minimal work mm -hmm. to, because of my health condition. Mm -hmm. uh, that might've been a different. If I were a man, would I have advanced more? I, I really um, didn't think about that much. I, I really think that, as I said, there is, there is still uh, a little more barrier for the women. What I generally see, if men, women are in the leadership position, I do. I kind of have my own thoughts. She must have been more brilliant than a man in the same position. Mm. Like if it's a leadership position, we kind of know how difficult it is for women to be in that position. So her sort of either like you know mental brilliance or some drive something. Mm -hmm is amazing for that person to be in there kind of I feel that way mm -hmm. uh, but I think more and more we see a little more people in the leadership which I'm very glad to um that's one thing another thing that I feel again it's a generalization I do feel that men seems to have a little more ambition to mm -hmm. uh get promoted or make more money mm -hmm. Uh, versus like I was always interested in and rewarded by my work and very hard worker but I wasn't very like interested in how do I get like more money or get more like pr promoted earlier I, I wasn't really paying too much attention to that but I see the same level like a guys always like think that way uh, more I mean, again generally speaking so that could have been but I, I generally don't think too much about like yeah what yeah. would have been yeah Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned on one of the interviews and in, in online that um, one of the reasons why you did not, you were not, you did not stay in Korea for your, for the rest of your training and instead came to the U.S. is because there were only like a few slots available and men had taken those slots. <laughs> and only one female and then the rest yeah. of the, uh, women yeah. were able to yeah. take those spots. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Uh, although, again, long time ago, it's mm -hmm. 20 years ago. So hopefully it's not like that now. But at the time, uh, I mean, we, people know that there was different slots for men and women because also we are uh, mandatory military service for men. Mm -hmm. So there was spot for people who could go to the military if, if there were to be a war. Mm -hmm. So they had a separate, like, 
quarter uh, quota. Uh, so yeah, definitely. So there was distinctively separation in the selection of the hiring. Oh, I see. Which all which all accepted because again, mm -hmm. if there were to be a war, those people in that quota will be going to mm -hmm. go find or treat people. Uh, I don't know whether that's changed or not. Um, I, I think it's changed, but that was the case, yes. And then uh, to me, that, I don't know, at the time I actually accepted it pretty good. I, I, I mean, I was sad to fail, but I wasn't like, oh my God, if I were a man or those men that like, took my, I, I think that because I was grown up in that con uh, mm -hmm. culture, just you know, of course like they get like the spot i get like five for just one spot for like four women go for like one spot and three men like go for three spots <laughs> that was the case really mm -hmm. uh but we sort of accepted yeah there there we our spots are one mm -hmm. um and hopefully really that's 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 changing i think they're they're kind of talking about the even incentive for military which is I know that very controversial right now. Mm, I see. So as we're wrapping up our interview portion of our section today, would you have any words of wisdom for our STEM um, women here in the U.S. as well as in Korea? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, I, mean, like, I can't say word of wisdom, but words of wisdom. But I, I am so excited for you because... I'm, I'm just not just saying it. As I said, I always wanted to be a scientist. So you, you are kind of my dream that I wanted. To. Um, I do think that like moving from here on, science will be the thing that will be moving the, uh, you know, our species for, forward, our human being forward. Uh, some people say medicine, but medicine is part of science. And, and without scientific uh, development, medicine can't really improve much. Mm. So uh, I, I, I am really excited for, and then I really want to do all of you and me and all of human beings do something that you are excited about. I, I, the, uh, you know, while I'm very excited about the science and all of you, like I'm very, very like, I'm really, really very proud of you. Um, as I said to Dr. Lee, that, that uh, you know, I've been saying no to a lot of interviews and <laughs> talks because I'm like really busy. I'm not, I got my conditions. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I really wanted to kind of encourage and put more energy uh, behind this women's STEM group because oh. then one I think the STEM is future two I also think that women are future <laughs> yeah uh, and it's, it's a force driving us from now to future mm -hmm. but but one thing that I would caution is uh, really find the way that you are excited about and you your heart pulls tours because it's mm -hmm. i mean medicine too but you your job even more so very tedious isn't it oh, it's like decades of work to find like something you know <laughs> and do you want to do that if it's not exciting you if it's not your thing uh, it feels like it could be huge waste of your life mm -hmm. so as long as this is it you get excited I, yes it's a tedious day to day but I got, i'm like so excited about what this could be and uh you know this thing is like so interesting I, something that's driving you inner from the inside rather than oh yeah i wanted to do phd and then like i want to get this and you know like something like more outside expectation from you you know somebody else's thought or oh like i just happen to be in here and everybody's doing that you know i should do that i think that that's one caution i want to give because again we have like one precious life um but as long as this is it and then i, I say another thing because it's, it's a tedious job it's a long process sometimes you feel like you're not getting anywhere <laughs> or going backwards sometimes or, or or going too slow just really focusing on your path 
and you know finding a good people that's also important that's very very important finding a good good mentor if your main mentor is not as good as you wanted you need to find like a few more mentors to go and talk uh and and discuss mentors are very important anyway so surround yourself and then just put mm -hmm. the best the best you got in yeah. the meantime also take care of your health <laughs> yeah because health you know because i i once lost health oh, yeah. uh, you just have to do what we call self-care mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll do one shameless advertisement of my youtube channel uh that is very focused on mind mind training mm -hmm. which, which really is health of your mind mind and you know uh your thoughts and mind and i think that as i said that's sometimes more important than your bodily health mm -hmm. as tightly uh is uh intertwined so so that's uh kind of what i want to say my excitement and then a couple of caution and then some advice about mentor and mentors and health mm -hmm. and kind of following your your heart not somebody else's that's, right. that's how yeah. i <laughs> that's so true like you know I, I think as korean americans as koreans we generally want to please our parents please our community and i feel like you really address those really well like you know, what is it that we personally want for our for our own lives yeah that, you know yeah that's and, so and you need to be a little at least a little bit happy or some enjoyment in there yeah. it's Avoid sort of torture every day. You gotta think about that. Uh, is this what you want to do for like 30 more years? So yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So the next section we'll go on to QA and then we'll yeah. do the Korean. Yeah. So okay. All four of us will be here um, on the screen and then we'll go ahead and get the questions started.